I'm Gabrielle. I'm happy to share with you today a project I made using a new stencil that I designed for the Crafters Workshop. This one is called the Dragonfly Mosaic. I also used another stencil I designed for them called Tile Mania. You can find a list of all the products I used in this video uh, just down below in the description area under the YouTube video. I also tried to provide you with some links to places where you can buy these products. I'm working on a canvas here that is 6 by 8 inches. I got this one at my local dollar store. And what I'm doing here is just giving it a nice coat of black gesso. The gesso I'm using is by TCW, that's the Crafters Workshop. After drying my canvas, I now take my 6x6 stencil, which worked out perfectly for this canvas, and I'm using black modeling paste by TCW. I'm just using a spatula to apply it, just carefully over my stencil, give it a nice even coat. Just a small note, I always like to clean my stencils off right after I use them so that they stay nice and sharp and clean for the next project. So here now I'm using the Tile Mania stencil I designed for the Crafters Workshop. This is a great stencil for creating a nice even background design. I'm using it on the top and the bottom of the stencil. To color my mosaic tiles, I'll be using this Perlex mica powder uh, to just add different shades of coloring to it. Uh, this package has some blues, some burgundies, greens, golds, a uh, variety of colors. You can use any color you'd like, but this is what I'm using for this project. And I'm using one of the best tools you can use, and that's your finger. You just dab a little on the tip of your finger and just rub it along. It, it just hits all the relief areas and kind of leaves the little creases black. To get an iridescent look, I'm mixing in a little bit of the greens, a little bit of the mauvey purples, and the blue. Now I'm adding some of that silvery grey colour and a touch of the mauve colour to the little tiles around the dragonfly. It doesn't really matter what color you choose to use, but it's always nice to use something that shows a little more contrast so you can actually see the design.
I'm using a little bit of that burgundy pinkish color for the little tiles circling the dragonfly. And after that, I'm going to be adding some of the gold. Don't worry if you smudge over onto another section. You can cover it with the next little bit. The gold really makes a nice strong impact. I really like the effect of it. Again, this collection is the Series 2 Pearl X. I bought mine at Michael's, used my 40% off coupon, and got it at a fairly decent price. And it's really, really gone a long way for me. I bought this probably 10 years ago, and I'm still going with it. You can of course use paints to color your tiles. Here I'm using mica powder just because I was going for a kind of a shimmery look on the stones, but you can individually paint them as well. Hopefully you don't find this too tedious showing it step by step like this. Sometimes I like to just you know skip a little section of it if it's something you've already seen. So here I'm just adding the finishing touches on the last bit of background. For the top and bottom strips, I'm doing it a little differently. I'm just dabbing the mica powder on loosely, and then I'm going to cover the area that I've carefully painted, and I'm just going to take plain water and spray the mica powder. This way it begins to act like a paint and kind of runs into all the creases that we created with the stencil. Once it's dry, I give it a quick spritz with a sealant. Uh, mica powder, it can rub off when you do attach it to a project, so you want to be careful to do something to seal it in. I ended up using hairspray because that's all I had on hand, but it works. And so now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a few flower accents to the corners of my canvas. Uh, it doesn't really matter what color flowers you use, as long as the design shape is something that you're looking for. I would have been happy with the top flower the color it was, because it kind of goes, but the bottom one doesn't really. So what I'm going to do once I have my pieces attached is paint them. Well, that will be coming up. You'll see what happens. And I'm using a gel paste by TCW, that's the Crafters Workshop, uh, to attach my uh, flower accents and my chipboard that's coming up. Uh, it has, gives it a nice strong bond and keeps it nicely attached to the project. Here I'm adding a few leaves and again, not to worry about colors or anything because that will be adjusted shortly. Okay. 
I'm just adding a couple little uh, chipboard accents called Fantasy Fronds, and these are by Dusty Attic. I think they add just a nice little extra touch to the canvas. color my chipboard fronds, I'm using Prima Art Alchemy paint. Uh, this one, I believe the color was Ancient Coin. I'm just dabbing on a little bit of the gold color paint and then just applying it again to the canvas with some of the gel paste. Now I'm using the TCW Black Gesso and I'm thoroughly covering, covering the flowers, the leaves, uh, all the extra little bits that I added on in the corners and I'm just giving them a nice coating of the Black Gesso as a base. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but bear with me, it will all kind of work its way together. Uh, sometimes people wonder why I paint the accents like this, cover them first with one color and then change it. I feel like it really helps draw the project together when I use the same elements of mixed media products on them. So here you'll see I'm just dabbing my brush into the mica powder. And, oh no, this one here I think is the paint actually, so I'm adding some of the paint here. Uh, that's the ancient coin paint. And then I'm dabbing it into the mica powders and dabbing it all over the flowers, but to make it really adhere, I'm giving it a spritz of water as well. Water kind of activates the mica powders so that they harden and will really stick to the project. As a final touch, I'm adding some adhesive gems to the body of the dragonfly. The adhesive gems I'm using here are from Bow Bunny. I have packets and packets of them from when I was on the team, so it's always great to have a nice use for them. And I also have this dollar store glitter glue here, so I thought I'd add a little dab of the glitter glue in the cross sections of the stencil design. After I also decided to add it a little bit to the flowers, I'm just rubbing bits and pieces of the sparkly glitter glue onto the flowers. And then at the end you'll see I added a little bit to the wings of the dragonfly as well. So hopefully you can see it here. I added a little bit of the glitter glue to the wings of the dragonfly and I just want to show you a little bit close up what the project looks like. I hope you enjoyed my project today and hope you enjoy using this dragonfly mosaic. Thanks for playing along with me today and hope you enjoy using this mosaic stencil. I always love to see what people do with it so be sure to tag me in if you ever do post something that you make with it. Thanks so much.